puzzles by solving equations where there's a variable on one side. Well now we've got some bananas and variables on both sides. Enjoy! For some bizarre reason, at the shop today, the person said that three bananas plus 20 cents, well, that's the same as two bananas plus 80 cents. Oh, very confused, but luckily I know maths. So, if I take two bananas from this Let's take two bananas from this side. Ooh, I've got one banana plus 20 cents is equal to 80 cents. Oh, let me subtract 20 cents from that side. And 20 cents from that side. Hey, one banana is equal to 60 cents. Is that an expensive banana? I don't know. Cool, turning that into algebra. 3b plus 20 equals 2b plus 80. Let's subtract 2b from both sides of the equation. Always do things on both sides. 3b minus 2b is b. b plus 20 is equal to 80. Subtract 20 from both sides of the equation. b is equal to 60. So don't let variables on both sides make you spin. Just do the same thing on both sides. Okay, let's do another one. 2x minus 7 equals 3x plus 2. Okay, we must do the same thing on both sides. Let's subtract 3x from both sides. If we subtract 3x from both sides, we end up with the variable only on the left-hand side. So 2x minus 3x is minus x. Well, I've got the minus 7. The right-hand side equals 2. Now I must add 7 to both sides. Now it's just like a normal equation. Add 7 to both sides. 7 becomes 0, minus 7 plus 7 is 0, we're left with minus x equals 9. Dividing through by negative 1, x is equal to minus 9. Same sum, just a different way. Okay, and this time I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. So on the right hand side of the equation, 2 minus 2 will end up giving me 0. On the left-hand side of the equation, minus 7 minus 2 will end up giving me minus 9. So 2x minus 9 equals 3x. I've got 3x, which is more x's on the right. So I'm going to subtract 2x this time from the left-hand side and subtract 2x from the right-hand side. On the right-hand side, I end up with x. And on the left-hand side, I end up with negative 9. So those of you who are unsure or don't want to mess around with multiplying by negative 1, this is the method you can use. Okay, a final sum. 2x minus 7 equals 8 minus 3x. I'm going to add 3x to both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, that will give me 2x plus 3x equals 5x minus 7. And on the right-hand side, I get 8. So minus 3x plus 3x gives me 0 have 5x minus 7 equals 8. I am going to add 7 to both sides. So 5x will end up giving me 15. Therefore, I must divide both sides by 5 to isolate the x. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. x is equal to 3. Awesome.